Okay guys, welcome back to Paper Mario. Alright, so today we're starting up Chapter 4, which is Shy Guy's Toy Box. Now, before we get to that, there's quite a few side stuff, side things that we can do. Mostly involving the Toad Town sewers. I've been avoiding them up until now because they can be a little tough. But before, we, before that, there are a couple more star pieces that we can get here around town. I just have to find them. There you are. Hey! Get out of here! Rotten little shy guy. There's another one that we can get at the port as well. Oh, hi Twink! I'm sure she was. We just beat someone who was supposedly invincible, after all. Shy Guy's Toy Box. Alright, see you later. Now, this guy here is kind of interesting. So this guy, if you pay him coins, he will raise one of your statistics, either your HP, FP, or BP, but he'll lower your other stats by 5. Or lower your BP by, uh, 3, I think. I've never actually used him. It's not worth it. Where is this one over here? There you are. Move, Gamara. There we Looks, looks like we, oh well we can still buy stuff but we can't store stuff at least at this one might be able to at the other shop i think we have to deal with a shy guy there though yeah the shy guys are causing a ruckus all over toad town mainly stealing stuff but otherwise generally being a nuisance Shy Guy's shop. Get out of here! Yeah, poor you. I think that'll do. Hello there! Welcome! I just started a few minutes ago, so you haven't missed much. Okay, so... Let's head down into the sewers! The scenic Toad Town sewers. Visited scenic, filthy streams that lead to who knows where. I, I could make a joke here, but I won't. 
Thank you, good Mario. Alright, so these are... Gloombas. Yep, I do remember you. Welcome. Loombas. I do indeed. Yeah, last time I did manage to get enough star pieces to get power plus. Now, upping Mario's power, well, in general, is just great, but it's especially good for his jumps, because that's where your real damage is going to come from. That's another super, super true. Oh, for sure. We also have Quick Change, which is an awesome badge. Allows you to switch par partners without consuming one of your turns. Uh, I don't know what that is. About to fight our first blooper here. And there it is. Dark in the dank pools of Toad Town Tunnels. You have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Press conference for Apple. Oh! I don't usually pay attention to that kind of stuff. I like to check out like directs and stuff from like Nintendo and stuff. But that kind of thing isn't really my thing. Oh wow, it actually fell asleep. I'm shocked. Now if I attack it, will it wake up? Nope. Wow. Wow, we uh, trivial trivialized this with Sleep Stomp. Nice, just enough for a level up. Ah, uh, so we will max out BP. Okay, so that's as much BP as you can possibly get in this game. Shrink Stomp, good badge. Uh, in the Thousand Year Door, they actually, I'm pretty sure they just removed the cap from BP entirely. Oh, uh, 
I might check out Summer Game Fest or the Xbox Showcase. I'm not crazy about Xbox, but maybe if they have something interesting. Yeah, you got that right, Gambario. Oh, it's a bigger one! An Electro Blooper. You got it, dude. Can we put this one to sleep, too? Probably not. We can probably shrink it, though. Ow. Uh, let's shrink it, then. Yeah! Mad. I'm gonna have to attack him indirectly now, because otherwise we'll take damage if we jump on him. This is where you come in, Territory. Thank you. out here. I thought that was gonna miss. Die. Alright, let's go have a quick rest for uh, into a town. down into the sewers for that one. Have I watched the Mario movie? Uh, no, I have not. But I thought it, it... It's it's nice that it seems like it's an actual good movie, so that's cool. Alright, so, by defeating that blooper there, we've unlocked some warp pipes. Which are shortcuts back to the other towns that we've been to. Now, this is the red tree I was talking about before. Or if you run around it a few times... There's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen. So he's talking about how we got the quick change badge from uh, Merlin's house. I right, need to keep this guy in mind for a little bit later. Is Chuck Quizmo around? Because it's always random where he, when he'll decide to show up. Oh, and while we're here, since I'm thinking about it, we're gonna re-up our 
spell with Merly. Oops. Alright, so special course, please. As far as showcases go, I don't watch a whole lot. I do like um, Nintendo Directs usually. They aren't always good, but I like it when they when they are. Uh, I sometimes watch the Sony events because I usually stick with Nintendo and play, uh, PlayStation consoles myself. That's how I was always always been growing up. But generally, those two. We're only here for a brief moment, anyway. Alright, pass to the Maddie Mouse. And there should be another Star Piece panel around here. Somewhere. Just gotta find it. There you are. Okay. Back to the sewers. Nintendos are usually the most interesting. Alright, any Chuck? There you are, Chuck. Uh, they were red and white. Oh, I do also like to check out Capcom ones. Since I play a lot of Capcom games, like an absurd amount of Capcom games. Uh, Dino Crisis is okay. Uh, Dino Crisis One is hard to to play. Dino Crisis Two is a cool arcade game, arcade shooter type game. So that's cool. So I must have already got that. So... I believe there's another one around here. I have tried to play Dino Crisis before, but I never got very far. There's, there's a lot of puzzles in Dino Crisis. Okay, another star piece. Yeah, I was talking about before how, uh, who exactly Exo Primal was, was for, because nobody was asking for a game like that, but it could have been a cool reboot for Dino Crisis, but no. Uh, is there one in Goomba Village? No, but there are two down below Goomba Village. Oh, hello again, Chuck. Far left, that's strategies. Uh, 
Oh yeah, letters. What letters do I have? Morty and Koopa Village, Goompapa and Goomba Village. I should give that. So we're gonna speed past those losers real quick. Oh, while we're here, do we can break this block. Get another repel gel. We are gonna need that. Yeah, I, it, it's nice that Capcom is back to form, but they do sometimes still make some questionable decisions. Like RE Resistance and RE Verse. I do like Square Enix stuff. Uh, mostly their older stuff, though. Right, now, starting this here starts a whole chain of letter delivering that we need to do. Musty near Princess Peach's castle. Like, I saw part of their, like, last livestream thing, and they had, like, some Splatoon ripoff that... <laughs> Looked really stupid. Oh, excuse me a moment. Sorry about that. Alright, so more tea should be this dude over here. Welcome, dude. Then again, games like Splatoon don't really interest me. I usually, I, I mostly just play like single player stuff, just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay. We're gonna keep going with the sewers for now. Yep, it's gross down here. Snowman doll. That deals for ice damage to all enemies. Is there anything up here? No. I'm not worried. So you get it registered. Alright. 
Okay, thanks for coming to hang out. See you later. Okay. I'll probably be going at least up until the end of Chapter 4. Boing! Boing! Power Smash! Now there's a good badge. Hammers an enemy using lots of attack power. Yes, please. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's deal with these guys real quick. At least they'll be out of the way. Uh, let's go down this work pipe. break those yet. So we'll have to come back for that later. Let's just write on this for a moment. Jump over. There we go. focus on, or did I take it off? No, I still have it on. Good. There it is. Well, that's how you know that you're 
a little tough for the enemies in the area. They don't give a, even give a single star point. Uh, yeah, they don't even give a single star point. Right now, there's a secret in the ceiling. It's a secret warp that's going to take us to world 2, 3, or 4. Nah, not really. coins from this one. Thank you, Merle. Hey, super block. It's finally your time to shine, Cooper. Okay, so his new ability is Dizzy Shell. Daze and paralyze all enemies on the ground. Which is a, a Dark Koopa ability. Or Shady Koopa, whatever they're called in this game. Alright, so this will take us back up to the ground floor of this place. Now, there is one more set of areas that we can explore by breaking through this board. We're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> 